Hey, get out of my frame. Hello my friends, as you saw I have been tagged and the tag was my two favorite knives. And I was tagged by Rasmus, aka Danish Bushcrafter. And uh, first of all I would like to say thanks to all of my new subscribers that has, has made me go and climb over the 700 mark. So now I think I have now about 710 subscribers and uh, it's really fun in this short time to have, to have climbed over that mark. So I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and of course a big thanks to all my old subscribers that got me this high. The first knife that I have chosen is, I'm gonna give you some clues first so you can try to figure it out. The first knife I've chosen is, it's made in Sweden, it's made in, the, in a town that starts with the letter M and lies in the middle of Sweden. It is a very old brand that has manufactured knife for a long time and great quality and they are well known all around the world. So, as you probably have figured out by now, my first knife is a Mora knife. This is a Mora 2000, I'm sure you have seen it before in some of my videos and I like this knife quite a lot. It has been my most dependable knife and I always have this knife with me in my backpack when I'm out doing something. This knife has a, a stainless steel blade which is profile sharpened and the handle is a uh, olive, olive green here and forest green at the sides and this is rubber grip here so it fits really nice in your hand. Just like that. It's a really comfortable knife, sharp, good to baton with. Even though the blade is not so thick, it's really great to baton with. And I just like this knife. The sheet is just a classic Mora sheet. And it's this is forest green also. This whole knife is made to a bit of a camo camouflage when you're out in the forest. And this knife costs 200 Swedish crowns, which is about... in your local currency. And my second favorite knife is a uh, Smith and Wesson HRT military boot knife, which costs about I've not been using this knife for so long. I actually got it on the mail yesterday. I bought it from the States and so this is also going to be a little bit of unboxing video for all of you who like that. This is meant both to be a, a boot knife. You have a clip here which you can have on your inside of your boot. So you can have the sheath there and just pull out the knife. And it's also made with this chain here so you can have it as a neck knife. I'm sure you're gonna see this knife in some future videos of mine but as I said it's brand new so I haven't had a chance to try it out yet but it got a rubber handle and it actually has a blade here and a blade here so a double blade which is is pretty sharp both the point here is sharp and of course the blade is sharp. I've seen on YouTube that it's quite popular now to have a neck knife 
that most of you guys out there have. But I usually don't carry a neck knife, but with this, if I want to, I have the possibility to carry it as a neck knife. And the good thing with this is that you don't have to have a knife like this with the sheet upwards because it doesn't fall that fall out when it is facing downwards, as you can see here. But I still, if I use a little force, I can pull it out with one hand with the chain around my neck and the sheet down. So, now you've seen my two favorite knife, the Smith & Wesson HRT Military Boot Knife and the Mura 2000. And the people I want to tag is Kenneth from Kenneth Graham, Neil from Brian Goldkiller and Peter from Vara Wild. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys that got tagged can do this, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would be fun to see your favorite knives too. So thanks for watching everyone and North Travel out. Goodbye.